It has long been the unquestionable kingpin of the Concorde, the event which is the essential definition of automotive elegance taken to sidereal heights. This is the Pebble Beach Concorde d'Elegance, 175 righteously rare and fanatically fabulous classics roll unhurriedly onto the show field into their pre-assigned display areas. Their arrival at the 18th fairway is a show in itself, and as each exhibitor checks in and receives a complimentary bag of assorted detailing products from Meguiar's, you can almost feel the wealth and pedigree each vehicle represents. For every pass of a polishing cloth that caresses these cars, there's a thousand man-hours of restoration somewhere in their past. What you see here is any car that would be in the classic car club of America. Obviously, a lot of pre-war cars with the beautiful custom bodies, cars like Rolls-Royce that for years only made chassis and didn't make bodies. A lot of coach-built cars. Post-war, again, you see some of the incredible Italian examples. And we also bring some open wheel and, and standard racers over from the Monterey Historics. Traditionally, Pebble Beach features a particular mark or a singular classification of automobile each year. For the most recent Concours, the great cars from Porsche received that coveted honor, due largely to their 50th anniversary celebration. The head man of Porsche's American operation expressed why this event was equally special to Porsche. You know, about half of the Porsches ever built have been sold in North America, and about half of them annually get license plates and are still driven. And we've just got a tremendous legacy, a tremendous heritage, and I've got a big obligation because we have to maintain this heritage and this legacy. So hopefully with the Boxster and the new 911, we're doing just that. Not surprisingly, Porsche was more than adequately represented by both the many street-driven and competition examples in attendance. Pebble Beach attracts both the classiest cars and the most notable stars, like Jerry Seinfeld, a fervent Porsche enthusiast himself. And you can always count on seeing Jay Leno at Pebble Beach, whose car collection is almost as famous as he is. And this outstanding 1929 DuPont Model G was quite an attraction brought to Pebble Beach by its owner, whose family built these cars 70 years ago, Thomas L. DuPont. This is a fairly unusual one because it's one of two convertible coupes. It's a Waterhouse body. The Model G was their biggest run, uh, probably their most popular and successful car. They came in every size, though, speedster, open cars, all the way up to town cars, dual Cal Phaetons. Ralph Boyer, a longtime Ford stylist who worked on the original Thunderbird project, owns the spectacular 1932 Rio Royale, another example of a flawless Pebble Beach entrant. You certainly can't envy the show judges who are literally attempting to measure various degrees of perfection. This display of Chrysler concept cars offered the Concours a touch of the contemporary, but then again, Pebble Beach has always been a showcase for daring style. Even the color part of the show is just terrific on the vehicles. I was looking at an Asoda Fraschini this morning that uh, was a two-tone green with a screaming lime insert in the body side, and it was just terrific. I mean, we would never think of that, so it's stimulus to us as designers. Just before the eagerly awaited award ceremonies, the judges are introduced. One of them, the only American-born Formula One champion in history, and now classic car restorer, Phil Hill. And with a massive gallery looking on, Jay and Jerry presided over the drawing for this awesome 1998 Porsche Coupe, a presentation which was executed in anything but a deadly serious manner. The motion of pretending that some of you people have a chance in hell. The most prized of Pebble Beach Awards is, of course, the best of show. This year's winner, John Mozart's magnificent 1938 Bugatti Type 57. There's a lot of Bugattis, and not all Bugattis are great, but what makes this so fantastic is, number one, it's the ultimate chassis. It's a 57 SC. It's a low chassis, supercharged, very fast, and it's got a body that's to die over. I mean, it's like jewelry. When you look at it, you go, well, anybody can look at it and go, hey, that's special. Then, as each class-winning automobile was driven to the podium, it became even more abundantly clear why the Pebble Beach Concorde d'Elegance is the richly renowned show of shows which continues to set the standard for classic car exhibitions. Its highbrow appeal, 
Its dedication to the preservation and appreciation of enduring style and brilliant engineering, and its staunch and steadfast commitment to the unique charm of much simpler times allows us all, if only briefly, to feel connected to the world's rich automotive history.